Greetings. My name is Darkwit. Today I would like to work on helping you organize your thoughts. Make it easier for you to slip in and out of trance. Mind you, this is not anything standardized. Just something I use to help others. What's important is that you trust me. I know that as an audio file, there's no reason to, so instead, trust yourself. All I am doing is enabling you to go on a journey with me. Take a moment to cleanse your surroundings of distraction, move into a comfortable position, and allow me to guide you. Please be sure to do this in a worry-free, safe place. Trance responsibly. To begin, I would like you to take a deep breath. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three. And exhale through the mouth. One, two, three. Very good. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. It's typical for us to do this because it reassures our body we are not dealing with elevated stress or activity. This is a calming exercise in the form of meditation. Gradually, your body will acknowledge it's time to let go. Your heart rate will slow and you will yield in favor of simply being at peace. Your body acknowledges that it has no need to move right now. If you want to, or you feel the urge to, nothing will stop it. But your movement is minimal simply because you have nowhere to go right now. You're with me, and that's all that matters. Most assume that meditation is about stopping all thought entirely. Sadly, the problem is many, like myself, have a hard time halting all the traffic that runs through our heads. Unprompted, it could be difficult. For some, impossible. But I have a little exercise we can utilize to help us. I'm going to give you a scenario to think about. Just concentrate on my words to guide you through it. Right now, you likely have a lot of thoughts running through your head. Thoughts like wondering if this is working, or a stray non sequitur about laundry or food. That's okay. I'm not asking you to pay absolute attention to me right now. Each of those stray thoughts is like a car on a highway. speeding by very quickly. You can almost imagine the pocket of air being displaced as it slips by. Our minds are like traffic in many ways, always wanting to get to their destination, caring little for the other thoughts in the way. And when we are packed with them, it can gum up the works and make us feel overwhelmed. Don't try to stop the traffic. Stay with me for now, on the sidelines. Just watch the cars go by. When I was young, my family told me that whenever we needed to center ourselves, that we should look to the horizon. It helps ground us, give us bearing on where we are, but it also reminds us that the world moves at a very glacial pace, measured in millennia, not minutes. So there's really no rush when you think about it. Just stare off at the horizon, and slight breaks of the traffic come and go, but you're not really paying attention to that. You're focusing on beyond. And... That's what really matters right now. 
Let that sentiment wash over you. And slowly, but surely, you're just watching the cars go by. Acknowledging each stray thought and simply letting them go. There's no rush at all. You're just enjoying the sight of each car passing by. Maybe the sound of it driving by serves as a form of pseudo-pendulum, moving in one direction, nothing more. Gradually, the traffic doesn't slow, but instead, it flows more easily, and there's less cars. We're not needing to initiate as many. And it's thinned out the numbers a bit. Eventually, the number of cars becomes sparse, manageable. It's okay if there are still cars here. What matters is that there are less, moving slowly, moving gradually, moving, most importantly, predictably. Enough so that we can casually acknowledge their passing and simply let them go. Now that the traffic has died down, why don't we take a little walk? Don't worry, you don't have to move. Your body is resting comfortably where it belongs. It's time to take a look at the other side of this highway. We take a few steps and I can guide you past. Sometimes a thought or two might come to interrupt us, but we're not here to erase them or remove them. Merely stop in our tracks and let them pass on by and continue unabated. The thoughts don't have interest in disrupting us, not really. Merely they desire to run their course. The more and more you walk, the easier it is to let those stray thoughts go. They don't bother us, and before you know it, we're on the other side of the highway. Very good. That wasn't so hard, was it? All it took Let's just stare at the horizon and let us move unabated. And I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Now that we're on the other side, I'm going to introduce you to one last concept. As we move forward beyond the highway of surface thoughts, we come to a simple view. It is a large box. It's made of your favorite material, be it wood, or plush, or leather, or even less common things like the surface of an orange, or the first inch of water. What matters is that it's your favorite material. It doesn't have to be grounded in reality. It's only bound by your imagination. What matters is that it's yours. There's a lock on the front of it. This is your subconscious. It's where all your thoughts reside and originate, or at least the precursors to some of them are. This is all under the surface. There's a pretty complex space on the other side of these walls, inside this box. But... This is yours, and the lock keeps it private. You can come in and out of this box whenever you like. The lock isn't going to keep you out, but for visitors like myself, we need permission. I can't go traipsing about in your head if I'm unwelcome. After all, we're only here because you want to be. I want you to remember this path the next time you want to come here. The traffic, the steps to get to this box again, and eventually the lock. 
around this point, you could decide to undo the lock and slip inside, take a look around, see what might be there. It is my gift to you, the knowledge of this path you can tread to come here again. For the time being, let's work our way back. This time I'm going to count to ten, and you will find yourself relaxed, refreshed, and entirely at ease. One, away from the box, taking measured, even steps. Two, moving towards the highway. Three, stepping across, letting each stray thought run its course. Four, casually reaching the other side. Five, we turn around. Six, we take a deep breath and allow the cars to slowly come back up to speed. Seven, the cars begin to move with more speed now. Eight, easily back up to its full speed. Nine, allowing our eyes to open and ten, awaken refreshed, and back to the world of the conscious. If you followed me to this point, I thank you. If you had a difficult time going under, that's okay. This is all meant for practice, after all, yes? You can come back another time, listen to this file, and enjoy it again. Or if you just want to relax and listen to something pleasant, I'm glad you decided to pick mine over others. For now, I suppose it's time to get on with the rest of your day. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next time.